So here we have the Volkswagen Passat Estate on a 58 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. Uh, from the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have plenty of boot space along with the 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this boot space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's where we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and over on the right-hand side, the speedometer for the car. Uh, within that speedometer section, you can also see the total miles. They are 52,283. Uh, in the middle section is where you'll find the trip computer for the car. You can change information displayed there by using buttons on the steering wheel. It'll also show you what gear this car is in. It's a DSG, fully automatic gearbox, so we're in park at the moment, of course. Beneath that, we then have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons over here will change the trip computer information. We've also got stereo controls up here and then cruise control just underneath there as well. The main stereo is over in the center. Uh, before we come to that, you'll see this phone has got um, Bluetooth fitted separately just over here. So you can make uh, and receive phone calls uh, using this system. Down on the radio, uh, we have FM and AM radio available. If you listen to your own music, you can do so via the CD player and the auxiliary input in this car as well. Working our way down from that, we have the air conditioning first of all. So you can determine the temperature, the fan speed, and the direction the air is being distributed in. The air conditioning's on at the minute, so that's off. Back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. Uh, that's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you've set over here. And we've also got a heated driver seat with five different heat settings, and the same over there for the passenger side as well. We have some storage inside here, and a 12 volt charging socket and then the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. We can turn off our elect electronic stability program, so traction control from here. Uh, and uh, we can put also hold on for the gearbox or for the handbrake system. So uh, if you come to a stop, for example, at traffic lights, it will automatically essentially put the handbrake on until you're ready to pull off. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.